Yes, you're quite right. I should be getting on with all those letters to the children. <laughs> Tea. Oh, dear. I'm afraid it has taken me so long to finish this story that the piglets are quite grown up now with piglets of their own. So, my dear Cecily and Charlie, now, at long last, you are to hear just what befell our poor little pigling bland. Once upon a time, there was an old pig called Aunt Pettitoes. She had eight of a family, four little girl pigs called Crosspatch, Suck Suck, Yok Yok and Spot, and four little boy pigs called Alexander, Pigling Bland, Chin Chin and Stumpy. Stumpy had an accident to his tail. The eight little pigs had very fine appetites. Yes, yes, yes. They eat and indeed they do eat. <laughs> Come out of there this instant. Oh, dear me. Now they've all run off. I do believe I can't be coping much longer with my unruly brood. They are indeed becoming a burden and a worry. I have turmoil enough already with it being wash day. And they drink bucketfuls of milk. I shall have to get another cow. Yes, yes. Good little Spot shall stay at home to do the housework, but the others must go. There will be more to eat without them, of course. Blow. <laughs> Now, Pigling Bland, you must go to market. You too, Alexander. <gasps> Do stand still. How can I brush your coat if you don't stand still? Here are two licences permitting two pigs to go to market in Lancashire. Attend, Alexander. Miss Potter's had no end of trouble in getting these papers from the policeman. Beware of hen roosts, bacon and eggs, and mind your Sunday clothes. And remember... If you once cross the county boundary, you cannot come back. Alexander, you are not attending. Take the hand of your brother, Pigling Bland. There, sons, I almost forgot. Take these eight conversation peppermints. A special treat. Do heed the moral sentiments on them. And you come to no harm. So uplifting. <laughs> This little pig went to market. This little pig stayed at home. <laughs> Let's see what they've given us for dinner, Pigling. If you must, but isn't it rather soon? But we've walked miles and miles. Oh, very well. Wee! But I really am not very hungry. <laughs> I'm 
I'm still feeling rather peckish. Then why not finish your peppermints? One of mine said... Moderation is a virtue. Well, I would agree. If I knew what it meant. And anyway, I have. Ages ago. Give me one of yours, please. But I wish to preserve them for emergencies. <laughs> don't be silly. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no, stop it. Oh, no, ow. Oh, no, no. That's quite enough, Alexander. Mother does expect us to behave responsibly. There now. Come along. It is a long way to market, and we have a considerable distance still to cover. Tom, Tom, the piper's son, stole a pig and away he ran. And all the tune that he could play was over the hills and far away. Tom, Tom, the piper's son, stole a pig and away. Oh. What's that, young sirs? Stole a pig? Where are your licenses? There you are, Mr. Policeman. I knew it was somewhere. What's this? Two and a half conversation sweeties at three farthings? This ain't a license. I had one. Indeed, I had, Mr. Policeman. It's not likely they'd let you start without. I'm passing the farm. You may walk with me. Can... can I come back too? I see no reason, young sir. Your papers are all right. But I don't want to go all on my own. <laughs> Five miles to Market Town. I shall never reach it by nightfall. I cannot bear the thought of Market. I never wanted to go in the first place. All those crowds to be stared at, prodded, touched, then hired by some big strange farmer. All I ever wanted was to have a little garden of my own and grow potatoes. What's this? <gasps> Alexander's license! Ooh, I might just overtake them. Alexander! Wait! Mr. Policeman, I found it! The license! Alexander! find my way home. <laughs> Goodness, wherever can I be? I can go no further tonight, I fear. But I must find somewhere to rest for the night and shelter from this wind. Excuse me, ma'am, if I might be permitted. Oh, my granite! My granite! I'm afraid it is only a hen house, but what can I do? I must leave no later than daybreak. I fear this is no safe haven for a little pig. Oh, wonderful. I can begin to feel my trotters again. So warm. So comfortable.
Now, six should be enough. Come on. I need six of you fell to take to market in the morning, so... Uh, the market? The market? The market? No. Here's another. Whatever. Turn out your pockets now. I am but a poor little pig. I have nothing. You'll stay for supper? Um, yes. Thank you kindly. Pigling that something at the further end of the kitchen was taking a suppressed interest in the cooking. Mr. Piperson poured out three platefuls for himself, for Pigling, and a third. Get that down, you, and be quiet. <sighs> now it says he, but then. It's too late in the season for curing bacon. Mm. Oh, well, uh, you may sleep on the rug. I'll say good night to you then. <laughs> You'll likely be moving on again. Oh, there's my neighbour already. He promised to give me a lift to the market. Now, where are me things? Uh, Mr... Mr... Shut the door behind me. Oh, and don't meddle with naught, mind, or I'll come back and skin you. <laughs> Oh, what a silly I am. I should have asked for a lift, too. Then I might have been in time for market. Oh, well, I might as well have my breakfast. Tom, Tom, the piper's son, stole a pick and away he ran, and all the tune that he could play was over the hills and far away. Over the hills and a great way off, the wind will blow my top knot off. Now, there is just one possibility. I know. Perhaps if I just... Aha! Very interesting. Pigling's disturbed night had left him very sleepy, and he soon began to doze. Mr. Piggy Wiggy, then, eh? Hey? Hey? I, I must admit to being a little hungry. Oh, a little hungry, are we? You feel nice and fat to me. <laughs> hey? Well, then, 
I better fix some sup of walrus and our nail, Mr. Piggy. <laughs> to be disturbed on any account before 12 o'clock. Eggs and bacon all day. My name is Pigwig. Make me some more porridge, please. I'm Pigling Bland. Uh, more porridge? Of course. How did you escape? He forgot to lock the cupboard. How did you come here? Stolen. What for? Bacon, hams. Why don't you run away? I shall. Off to supper. You can't go in the dark. Do you know your way by daylight? I know we can see this little white house from the hills across the river. Which way are you going, Mr. Pig? To market. I have two pig papers. I might take you to the bridge, if you have no objection. <gasps> How wonderfully kind! How can I ever thank you enough? I'm so happy! Yes, well, um, delighted. How do we get there? Well, first, we must go... I've never seen a market. What do we do there? What's it for? Will I enjoy it? Well, um... Why do we need papers? And surely it doesn't have my name on it. Ah, well, um, you see... <laughs> Market sounds perfectly horrid to me. Lots of noise and people and just anyone staring at you. What I would like to do is... Well... Yes, yes? What would you rather do? Well, if you must know... All I've ever wanted is my own little garden. Oh, flowers! I love flowers! Potatoes. Peppermint. I thought you'd eaten them. Only the corners. I wish you wouldn't. He might smell them through the ceiling. Sing something, then. I, um... I have a toothache. Then I will sing. You'll not mind if I say iditty tiddity. I've forgotten some of the words. <clears throat> Our funny old mother pigling lived in a sty, and three little peas had she. And the little pig said, We, we. I must be awake before dawn. It'll be our best chance. <laughs> Come along, Pigwig. Time for us to be on our way. But it's still dark. Shh! Not so loud. Crude. He may have woken Mr. Piperson. Oh, I really don't know if... It, it's so dark and... <laughs> Come away, Pigwig. We will be able to see when we get used to it. Come. I don't call this a garden. Take care how you step. I don't want. I want to grow potatoes. Have a peppermint. No, thank you. Not now. Does your poor toothy hurt? Oh, well. But who is to know where we go? Pigwick, 
Keep under the wall. There's a man plowing. Come on. Not far now, Bigwig. We'll be safe and sound soon across the boundary. Oh, goodness! And we were in sight of the bridge and freedom. Take that peppermint out of your mouth, Bigwig. We may have to run. Don't say a word. Hello? Where are you two going? Are you going to market? I thought as much. <laughs> it was yesterday. <laughs> Show me your licenses. Hmm. I'm not sure now. This here pig is a young lady. Now, where was it? Ah, yes. Here it is. Lost, stolen, or strayed. Ten shillings reward. I'm up to speak to the ploughman about this. Just you wait here. Walk on now. Not yet, Pigwick. He's sure to look back. Now, Pigwick. Now! Here! You two! Come back! <laughs> Keep going, Bigwig. Uh, the bridge. Uh, Freedom. Safety. Uh, you shall have your garden full of potatoes. And pansies. <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> hooray, hooray. Success, we outwitted them all. Tom, Tom, the piper's son, stole a pig and away he ran. And all the tune that he could play was over the hills and far away. La, 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 the last time I went across the river to the market, I saw the loveliest garden. Half was laid to potatoes, but the other half was a mass of flowers. Now I wonder.